Okay. Okay. My name is Alexa Ann Watson, and I am the great, great, great granddaughter of Frederick. Frederick Douglass, Douglass is my great, 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 great granddaughter of Frederick Douglass. I am the great, 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 great grandchild. I've been counting on my fingers since yeah. I was like five. This is the 4th of July. It is the birthday of your national independence and of your political freedom. Fellow citizens, I shall not presume to dwell at length on the associations that cluster about this day. The simple story of it is that 76 years ago, the people of this country were British subjects. Oppression makes a wise man mad. Your fathers were wise men. And if they did not go mad, they became restive under this treatment. With brave men, there's always a remedy for oppression. They succeeded. And today, you reap the fruits of their success. The freedom gained is yours. And you, therefore, may properly celebrate this anniversary. Fellow citizens, pardon me. Allow me to ask, why am I called upon to speak here today? What have I, or those I represent to do, with your national independence? Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice embodied in that Declaration of Independence extended to us? I am not included within the pale of this glorious anniversary. Your high independence only reveals the immeasurable distance between us. The blessings in which you this day rejoice are not enjoyed in common. The rich inheritance of justice, liberty, prosperity, and independence bequeathed by your fathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought life and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. You may rejoice. I must mourn. Fellow citizens, above your national tumultuous joy, I hear the mournful wail of millions. At a time like this, scorching irony, not convincing argument is needed. Oh, had I the ability and could reach the nation's ear, I would today pour out a fiery stream of biting ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm, and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. And its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than all other days in the year, the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. Your boasted liberty, an unholy license. Your national greatness, swelling vanity. Your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your denunciations of tyrants, brass-fronted impudence. Your shouts of liberty and equality. Hollow mockery, your prayers and hymns, your sermons and thanksgivings, when all your religious parade and solemnity are to him mere bombast, fraud, deception, impiety, and hypocrisy. There is not a nation on the earth guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States at this very hour. Allow me to say in conclusion, notwithstanding the dark picture I have this day presented of the state of the nation, I do not despair of this country.